Uh, my son Chance is seven years old. He he uh, lives in Chicago, so I uh, I don't know if you've heard. I go back and forth, and I travel almost every other weekend to go back and uh, and see him. And sometimes when we get together. He's a little smart, Alex, seven year old, and we have a lot of fun together. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, one of the games we like to play is a little game of kid friendly. Would you rather? You ever played Would You Rather? Um, a couple times. Okay, Ashley. So I need you to get in the mindset of a seven-year-old. Yeah, what would a seven-year-old choose in some of the most difficult questions you can ask him? Do you do you think you can think like an, a seven-year-old? Uh, I think I think like a seven-year-old kind of a lot. I was going to so. say, do your friends say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm, we, I asked him uh, multiple questions, and you just have to tell me what you think his, his answers are, okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. It's my son Chance's... Would you rather? All right. All right. First question. Here we go. Was would you rather eat pizza covered in anchovies or gummy bears that fell in the toilet? Eat pizza covered in anchovies or gummy bears that fell in the toilet? What do you think he's choosing, Ashley? Um, probably gummy bears in the toilet. Let's get the answer. Gummy bears that fell in the toilet because one is candy and toilet water is basically water. There you go. That's smart. I drank toilet water once. It is. It's just regular water. Good job, Chance. <laughs> you go. Good job, Ashley. Putting your mind to head. She's like, I would dive in if I dropped that, yeah. <laughs> that gummy bear. <laughs> All right. Question number two. Would you rather be able to turn invisible or be able to fly? Turn invisible or be able to fly? Seven-year-old says what? Oh, man. Um... Maybe be able to be invisible. Let's see what he says. Turn invisible, because then I would be a lot better at hide and go seek. Way better at hide and go seek. <laughs> That's, That's good. two in a row. You want to go for a three-peat? That's basically a career. You can play a career in hide and go seek, I let's, think, actually. Let's go for a three-peat here, Ashley. Ready? Here okay. we go. This is a good right. one. Would you rather have tacos as shoes or pizza as underwear? Now, you really got to think this one through, okay? Tacos as shoes or pizza as underwear well um i think that the tacos would just break off so maybe the pizza's underwear would be better logical okay good job ashley chance says tacos is shoes because then i would get pizza sauce all over my crotch yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) that's a good point ashley (laughs) ashley we didn't think about that ashley you didn't think about the pizza crotch oh man oh man all right the, the good news is you're still going to the State Fair of Texas. Congratulations! Yeah. Awesome. We're going to get you that and get you Fletcher's Corny Dogs. And just be careful, you know, where the corny dogs go. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, you hold on one second. We're going get to get those tickets for you. Sound good? Yes, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. It's, you know, you got to put yourself in that mindset. If you're, you really, if you're really going to have a good time at the State Fair of Texas, you got to put yourself in that uh, do I wear pizza as underwear mindset. I, I'll be honest. I thought the, the tacos and shoes actually had the right perspective. It, it could break off. You don't know what could happen, but I didn't even think about the pizza sauce. Like, yeah. Didn't even think about you gotta it. You got to weigh your pros and cons when it comes, For to, sure. it comes to the pepperoni pizza sauce. Yeah.